What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we start, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss all the interviews and content I'll be bringing you, including Matt Brash's interview later today. So hit subscribe, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. We're going to start out with Nasty Nestor Cortez. Yep, Nasty Nestor had 12 strikeouts in 5 innings with a variety of cutters, fastballs, breaking balls. In fact, here's an overlay of his breaking ball and fastball, and you can see he throws them from two different arm slots. These pitches take widely different paths, but end up in the same place. But the big news was Nestor Cortez had an immaculate inning. Check this out. Nine pitches... Nine strikes, three Ks. That is just the 104th immaculate inning in baseball history. Bruce Zimmerman battled Nestor yesterday and had six Ks of his own, including these totally filthy change-ups. This one here ran 22 inches. Yu Darvish was back to being his filthy self with eight Ks and six and two-thirds innings. I mean, check out this splitter here to Albies. He also had his filthy slider working, and all of this was set up by his wicked two-seamers. Remember, if you want to learn all you Darvish's pitch grips, and there are a lot of them, be sure to check out my interview with you on this channel, where he goes over all of his pitch grips in great detail. Andrew Heaney had 11 Ks and 6 shutout innings, and what really stood out to me were his nasty breaking balls. I mean, look at this one going back foot. That is a pretty pitch. Alec Manoa had electric stuff. Check out these incredibly sharp breaking sliders. That is not fair. And I love making overlays with Alec Manoa's stuff because his sinker gets a ton of arm side movement and a slider, a lot of glove side movement. These things are just disgusting. Matt Brash was dominant yesterday. Now, I didn't think Brash had his best stuff. He actually walked a bunch of hitters, but I looked up and he had a no hitter through five and a third innings. And he did have this incredibly wicked slider, and I'll overlay it with his fastball. You can see why Matt Brash is going to be a problem for years. I also got a shout out during this game for being one of the guys who spotted how filthy Matt Brash was early on. How he kind of went viral, pitch ninja picked up on the stuff and everything else. So you Jimmy Herget had these frisbee breaking balls. In fact, on one of these, I thought Charlie Culberson was going to fall down. Jordan Hicks was throwing flames as always, but check out this 102 mile an hour sinker. Not only does it have insane movement, I mean, look how it goes arm side and dives, but it also broke his catcher's mitt. When you throw so hard that you're breaking your catcher's mitt, that is pure diesel. But my filthiest pitch of the day comes from Dylan Tate. You know, I've featured Dylan Tate before and he gets crazy arm side movement both on his fastball and his changeup. But this changeup here, it's as amazing as you will ever see. This thing ran 27 inches. Yes, well over two feet. I'm pretty sure that 27 inches is the most arm side run that I have seen on a changeup. Now, I don't make up these movement numbers. They come from Baseball Savant and are measured in the park by the Hawkeye system, which are a series of cameras that actually can tell how far the ball moved. I'll attempt to illustrate it though with this video. This red line is the width of home plate. And I added another piece to that red line that is approximately 10 inches. You can see this incredible changeup was starting out inside and then ended up way outside. And to sum it up, 27 inches is believable. Freaking amazing. And now my pitching ninja moment of zen. After Nestor threw his immaculate inning, Higashioka didn't realize it and threw the ball into the stands. Garrett Cole had to get it back for Nestor, and then they all started this chant when they saw Higashioka in the dugout. You can see Cole with the traditional asshole, asshole. 